So today we're in a beef confinement barn here in Northeast Kansas. Uh, this is a fat cattle facility where they're fattening out cattle in a confinement barn. This uh, barn has an eight foot pit underneath of it that catches all the manure. And we're taking the manure right out of this access port. Uh, and we're pumping it through the solid separator, through the micro filter, and, and getting a product that's clean enough to go through, through drip irrigation. So we're really excited to, uh, to have this option of being able to clean up a, a really heavy solids material. This is probably in the 11 to 14% solid range. Uh, we're taking those solids out, getting a, a value added product in the solids, and then also um, having a liquid that's clean enough to go through irrigation. So we'll show you a little bit of the process that we're going through. This is the solid separation unit. Uh, we've got our dirty sludge going in the top. It goes down into this screw, and uh, essentially there's a large screw extruder in here. It's pushing the solid manure out the end into what's called a plug. So this is our, our dry solid product. And then it's dropping the liquid into this tank. And then from the tank, we're sucking this product into our microfilter. The microfilter is taking the additional solids out and getting the product clean enough to go through, through drip irrigation. Okay, so this is the microfilter, and this, this is a large rotor that's spinning about 1,500 RPMs. And inside here is a 40 micron excuse me, a 25 micron screen, and it's throwing the liquid, or the slurry, against that screen, the liquid comes through it, and the, the solids come on up to the top. So essentially we get two products, we get a, a thickened slurry comes out of this top discharge, and the clean liquid comes out of this bottom discharge, and that's clean enough to go through drip irrigation. And so it's a fairly simple concept, we're feeding the dirty product in through the bottom, this rotor is spinning it, it's throwing the liquids through the screen, and the solids come out the top. This screen is so small that if you fill this up with water, the water will hardly run through it. Um, so it's the centrifugal force that's forcing that liquid through the, through the mesh. 